everyone, and welcome back as always. Hi. Hi. We're finally going to be watching more Vikings. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so I believe we're on episode six now on uh, season four. Oh, wow. And it's called What Might Have Been. So 406. Ooh. What happened last time? Let's see. Bjorn, he is quite the man. Yeah, he sure is. He can hold his own. Mm-hmm. He's very tough. Yeah. So is Lagatha. Yeah, Lagatha's pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah. That was pretty crazy what she did to yeah, Gull. Yeah. I know. Hey. <laughs> that was yeah, not to be. I don't know. I kind of mm-hmm. had a feeling she was going to do something at that point, like with, with the build up. I didn't think she was going to do Especially when she said she was pregnant. Yeah, and I was going to marry her. Yeah. Know, yeah. Was... And again, we always overthink things where we think there's always more to it. And sometimes it is just straightforward, whatever they say, like it's going to happen. Because when she said she was pregnant, I'm like, oh my God, maybe she is pregnant. Maybe she's leading them on. Maybe, but maybe she is really pregnant. Like, what's going to happen? You know? Maybe she <laughs> wants to, yeah. Keeps going back and forth. But, all right. So, it's been a little while, and I just kind of want to just get into it to see yeah, and what's Floki going on. Yeah, was talking to Sierra. Sierra was talking to Floki. And, That's and, true. Yeah, so, so, Floki that might be there? Yeah. the new Sierra. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and then Rolo and oh, his new wife. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, they're doing like, very well. Oh, like it, now Rolo. that he okay. took the time to know their language, he's like, <laughs> Yeah, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to eat. <laughs> I know. Who needs to eat? I need to keep my figure anyways. I'm only work out now. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> All right. So I think I'm good to get into this. Okay. Let's get into what this. might Why have in. been. It might have been. Well, Kelp knows what it might have been. He might have yeah. lived. Yeah. Yeah. And Ragnar. Yeah, right? <laughs> And um and Ragnar now has his new playmate, the um Emperor's daughter or something. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow, it's amazing how he finds Very different world. Yeah. yeah geez. I advise you to keep your friends very close. For some of them will die only too soon. And the others will betray you. Oh jeez. Would you be that young and be like, oh, uh my God, yes. if you're willing to share a boat with a lot of women. And you're welcome to come with me to Pettis. It's like score. Take this offering of earth and salt to remind you that you belong both to the earth and to the sea. These arm rings symbolize your coming of age. They also bind you in loyalty and fealty to me, your king and your father. Do you swear so? Yes, father. Put on your rings, my brothers. I'm taking the boys with me to Paris. They're too young. This is my decision if they come or not. And they are not too young to watch. In any case, wow. they're safer with me than they were the last time with you. Oh, oh God. As I remember. It gets worse and worse. Alfred. They're so much older, of course, but wow, huh? I have decided to send my grandson, Prince Alfred, on a pilgrimage to Rome so that he might see the holy city and meet his holiness, the Pope. The road to Rome is filled with untold dangers. The boy is still too young. Yes, I am aware of the dangers. That is why I also wish you to accompany your son so that you may protect and comfort him. Everybody, my son. <laughs> but who will lead her armies against Mercia and place its rightful queen at her throne? Oh, be not afraid of that. I personally will lead our armies in that venture. I don't really trust that. <laughs> I wanted to go. I don't want to stay here. That I can do it. Please, please. Keep him here, like one of your rats in a cage. No. Uh, he's gonna start hallucinating. Whoa. Let me ask you a question. I want to know the day that I will die. You will die on the day that the blind man sees you. Hmm? <laughs> Don't waste your time looking back. You're not going that way. I like their furs. <laughs> ah, she looks awesome. I am very nervous about the boys going now. Loki. How are you feeling? I feel happy. I feel among friends. 
That's because you are among friends. My dear Floki. Is he breastfeeding? Yeah. Huh. Scared me. <laughs> Where are the boats? We've been blown off course. We have to head south. May God, in His grace, keep you and console you <laughs> on your an long journey. <laughs> you know, when you are dirty, you have a bath to wipe off the dirt. Well, going on a pilgrimage is like taking a bath for the soul. It wipes away the dirt from the soul. And be good. We must go. The first step is always the hardest. Oh, no. I, I feel like, of course, there's a bigger plan. Two of our ships. So many still missing though. The boats are just so beautifully built, you know. Force to be reckoned with though. <laughs> My boat's prettier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy, he's the first to go. Mm hmm. It's gonna be blood pretty soon. Oh boy! Oh my hello, oh, hello. Geez. Oh goodbye. Oh, <gasps> oh boy. Shh. Is that that guy again? Is that you, Albert? Mm. Yes, it is. Oh. He's back. He knows Daddy's gone. <laughs> Come to me, and I will put an end to your suffering, and heal you, and make you free. It's all hazy and stuff. Is this a vision? Because he's a god? Is that why? Oh, oh my goodness oh. gracious. Oh. Wow. Well, it's why they're there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, they're practicing on a dead body. If he tips over, it's gonna suck. It's gonna drown. I don't care about your feelings for Bjorn because if I ask you to kill him, you will have to do it. Otherwise, I will kill the boy. Ooh. And believe me, Logitha can't protect your son. Tell Bjorn. <laughs> ah, it's a like Lord of the Rings. Use <laughs> of our rifle. What are you doing? Taking them for a walk. Where are you going? With my friends. What about Wagner? He is your friend? Not anymore, Helga. But he's... What are you talking about? He tortured me and shamed me. He spared your life. I know. Oh, so bad. Yeah. You understand why you are here fighting? Instead of trying to keep your baby safe. You've never spoken to me about Kulf's death. You must have broken your heart. Of course it didn't. My heart was broken a long time ago. <laughs> why you are willing to risk your baby's life in battle. Who are you to talk? I'm not your wife. They'll say your questions are fat and lazy. Oh, they're gonna burn him. Oh, oh they're gonna burn him alive. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. That's horrible. Oh, jeez. Oh, so violent. <laughs> oh, oh, he's gonna piss on him? Oh, come on. Oh, really? Yeah, he's <laughs> dancing. Oh, my Sick. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh no, they're gonna float by him. Oh boy, oh boy. This is where we are. <laughs> Do not return to your brother. I will not betray you. I will not betray Paris. And I will not betray my wife. So awkward and ugh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he need that. He need a lot more. Oh my goodness. Maybe he knows something. Do I have your permission? Yes. What will you do? Oh! I will save Paris a second time. I do not need Rollo, I will do it myself. Oh. I will organize a coup against the Emperor. I will have him killed and I will replace him. You will be the Emperor. Yes. I will be the Emperor. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, <laughs> say so. Give him permission to do that? No, thank you. Hopefully, you won't see no. the blind man that sees him. Aww. Better days. All the people oh, that died. Yeah. When it was happy. Yeah, he really misses that, yeah. <laughs> kind of laughing like Floki a little. <laughs> Pretty boy on hell. Oh god, that's horrible. Wow. Wow. Okay, okay. Oh, he's standing Wait his ground. Both brothers have been through a lot. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and sure. I don't think it's going to go full circle this time. No, it's not going to be. <laughs> no, he's always no. wanted to be oh, his own person. He always wanted to be his own ruler, so. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's done. Now he's he's not going back. Yeah. I know they kept building that up since the beginning, and he kept changing or turning around and feeling guilty with Ragnar for giving him. Yeah. And, but yeah, this is not going to be good. No, it isn't. Definitely not. Brothers yeah. shouldn't fight. Speaking <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> of brothers, what about these other brothers that are, you know, to, Oh, I know. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I, I have a bad feeling about them, Lucky too, because Lucky. they want power. Like And um, Loki's going right for them. Yes, he is. Yeah. I was really hoping, I always say that, I was really hoping that Floki and Ragnar would just mend and get along right. again and be okay, but I just have a feeling yeah. now that Floki's just going to keep going down this dark hole of, yeah. Yeah. you know, and I, I know he loves his gods and everything, but I just feel like it's going to be his end, you know? Yeah. We'll I don't, I don't understand it. why he's not with Ragnar. I mean, he's not, like... He's spiteful right now because... Yeah. Again, as we know, he said he was tortured, and Floki truly believes and loves and you know loves the gods. So he truly believes in the gods, and he does not regret killing Athelstan because yeah. he was a Christian and messing with Ragnar's mind. He was brainwashing Ragnar in his mm -hmm. eyes, so he has That's no right. doubt that he did the right thing. And he's just so tunnel vision with it that he thinks Ragnar is wrong to punish him for something that he did to please the gods. So he's just so he has his mind set on that. Yeah, so right. now he's, he's going against mindset. Ragnar. That's yeah, it. I get like trying that's to it. care and worship something, but to go to the extra lengths of like torturing people, mm, it's slow right. tortures deaths too, and having fun and peeing oh, yeah. on people so and, and just mocking really... them while they're burning alive. Oh, that's just horrible. That was, that was yeah. That was savage. <laughs> that was very savage. Yeah, was... Even but you know, I even Ragnar let Floki go. You know, because Bjorn wanted him to... Yeah, like, yeah I think should. Ragnar, of course, did the right I thing. Mean, he did show mercy, and right. they should be friends after that. But I think Loki's just too tunnel vision. And yeah, like, Ragnar definitely, even though they can be savage in their own ways, you know, they have mm -hmm. their other, you know, their culture differences. But mm -hmm. Ragnar's definitely more more moral, compassionate, plus, more compassionate, yeah. yeah. Plus, when he found out that, you know, the daughter died... Yeah. Yeah. You know, now I think Floki is just going bad because of his daughter dying. He's just done mm -hmm. with the whole thing, and I feel oh, bad for, I feel bad for Helga too. You know, I know. I'm so worried something bad's going to happen with Helga. Yeah, I'm not sure about, yeah because Floki's Floki. already going to the dark side, yeah. in my opinion. And I feel like if something ha happens to Helga, then that's it. You know, Helga might jump on uh, Lagatha's ship. <laughs> Maybe. 
I here. really love yeah, her right? character, Helga. She's awesome. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if she really she tries is pregnant, so hard. though. I don't know. Oh, Lagertha? Yeah. 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 yeah, I know. I'm curious about that, too. I like, please, no spoilers. We'll figure it I out. Think maybe about she's it. not, and she's just letting people think she is. Yeah, that, I, I, I assume that from the beginning when she told Klopp, what, you know, that she was pregnant, because I'm like, well, I doubt, you know, because she couldn't have babies anymore. But she might be. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe it was Ratcher's fault. No, I was kidding. <laughs> you yeah. see a lot of babies with that log, but <laughs> yeah. So I'm curious if she is actually pregnant or not. And yeah. I love that scene with her and Ragnar oh. talking. You can see the emotion in their eyes. Oh, and yeah. I was hoping since the first season, I was hoping that they would have a quick breakup and get back together by the second season, yeah. but mm-hmm. they didn't. And a whole lot of stuff happened, yeah. and now it's just too ruined to even try again, I guess. And but you know, you can still you can see feel that. Yeah, you can yeah, see that hurting. close this relationship. That that's still a good friend. Yeah. Of her, you know, Magda and everybody else. That yeah, he really past. misses Two it. Kids like, died like, and yeah, the daughter died. was so sad. And Alfred Stan, I know, yeah, just I all the feels it. again. It's so sad, but. Wow, oh, huh? And I'm curious now with Alfred, he's going on this long trek now to go to Rome. With, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel like something's going to, of course, happen there because King Eckbert is just so good. Oh, yeah, what an actor. Yeah, he is so yeah. good. He's so yeah. talented. And I feel bad for Ethel <laughs> Wolf because I always feel like he puts him in danger just so, you know, it's okay, you just get rid of you now. Yeah. And he's more fond of Alfred because he was brought by God or he's a sign mm-hmm. from God. So I don't think King Eckbert would put Alfred in danger, but I feel like he's trying to get Ethel Wolf out of the picture. He's trying to separate oh, yeah. Yeah. Her and the queen. So I wonder if something's going to go down in his kingdom with the queen. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. With Quindreth. Mm-hmm. With Quindreth. Right, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. I think something's going to something's gonna go up there. with her. Yeah. yeah, you can see she was devastated with the wolf going. I'm, yeah. Really yeah. <laughs> worried for her, yeah. too. Because as crazy as she is, like, I really do like her character. And she also has Ragnar's son. So I think King Eckbert would be okay with... The fact that she has Ragnar's son because he's all about Athelstan's son. So mm-hmm. I kind of thought like, you know, he Keep likes the, the broad lines. lines. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But I, don't, I, oh, I think he'll be okay with uh, getting rid of Quindreth. Yeah. And then yeah. Um, Judith, I think she'll be fine. I think she'll be fine too. I have a feeling because he really loves her. You can tell mm-hmm. that he's like infatuated yeah, he or whatever well. King mm-hmm. Eckbert is with Judith. Yeah, I think so too. But, yeah, oh, so I'm curious. Oh, and the whole thing with the Wanderer. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. weird. And yeah. when Ivar was laughing, I kind of thought of Floki so the almost, whole time. It's like, almost like yeah. sinister. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's almost sinister to me. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. It was, it was weird. Yeah. So I wonder why he's there. And I just don't have a good feeling about that yeah, whole thing. Yeah, so I'm curious. Definitely. And it was all hazy. It's and I know Aslog has, yeah, has visions and stuff. So I'm sure he was there, though. And maybe because he's so godlike or is a god. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. <sighs> so I yeah, can't wait for the next episode <laughs> and see what happens. Yes, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> so I guess we'll end it there. But thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you very soon, yeah. as always. Bye. Bye.